Hey, James G here. On this episode of Persona Studio One series, I'm going to discuss some of the channel views. Now, that's kind of a vague statement, so there's going to be a few things that I'm going to show you. The actual channels themselves and then uh, ways to manipulate uh, all these wave files that you see, basically what it is. So here's a song. Uh, there's not a ton of tracks on this one. This is a, a, a song a buddy of mine wrote years ago, and I just redid it for him. Um, and so you see there's, you know, I've got Easy Drummer 3, uh, so that's only just that one track bass track. Uh, I got a couple acoustics, a telly, a baritone guitar track, a couple of leads, and then three vocal tracks. And so that's it. But if you can see, I got to really scroll down here to kind of see everything. And so when you're mixing in that process, it can get a little annoying. So you can actually change this to make it easier on you. Um, you can also do your channel strip down here. So the first one I'll show you is if you look right down here below where your channels are, you'll see normal. And this is the normal setup. So I could go to small and it will make them a little smaller. And then you see it got rid of uh, some of the stuff on the channel there. And I'm like, well, I still can't see everything. I can even go down to tiny. So now I can see everything. Uh, so I could actually go and you know, mix and look at everything, and but it's still kind of there. And it does even, uh, just for the sake of this video, I'll show you this overview is literally everything is way down. And I've had plenty of songs where I do, do overview, and this is still completely full because there were so many tracks going on. And then minimal is just ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> so, and of course you can go uh, larger than that. So if you had just a few channels, you could go medium and you start seeing it shows more options and stuff in each one here large and then extra large which is crazy sauce i don't really know why you do that because quite honestly to get this large you would actually go to the edit screen you can so there's back to normal and so i'll hit this in small now you can do it down here as well and they're from these little icons to the left so if you see here this is if you want to make them this is actually vertical here so you can make them smaller or larger that way let me pull this up here so there's that i can Doom, 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 doom. Okay, and then this one puts them uh, horizontal, will squeeze them together. So if you've got a bunch of tracks and you just right at the point where all you're doing is getting the volume mixing down, this is a really, really uh, great way to do that. So take that back to normal. Now, the other thing you can do is see right here, this is I'm swiping along. I can take this tab and I can go through all the tracks there. Well, I can go to my, th what this tool is right here that I'm circling, this will actually make those WAV files smaller or bigger. So this is everything really, really, really scrunched up. And then if I go to the opposite side of that, you'll see the WAV files really starting to stretch and watch how fast it goes by. After. So um, that's what that guy there does. Um, now this um, over here will scroll up and down uh, pretty simple there but what this actually does is you'll see there's this double uh, little block right here this is called data zoom now a lot of people have gotten this and kind of like oh no I messed it up and, and it actually doesn't so if you click and hold on this now watch as I push up watch all the wave files okay so people are thinking you're not actually changing the gain or anything you're literally just changing how they visually look um, well why would I want to do that well let's say you're real stretched like this and then let's go back to like normal. Um, if I'm doing this, I might really want to see a, a real big, it, it might be easier to see where a peak is or where a, a, a line is that I want to go in there and cut. So this is for really, really minute um, kind of detail editing and stuff like that. So there's a lot of control you have over this visually. Remember right here, this is for your channels uh, up here. Uh, these two are for your vertical and horizontal for your channels down here. Um, this tool here makes uh, how long or short or how scrunched up these are. And then this channel here is the WAV file itself. And then you can just scroll up and down there. So I hope that helps a little bit of how uh, controlling your view, especially if you're dealing with just one string, it's nice, uh, one screen, it's nice to have uh, all these tools uh, and understand what they do because they're really kind of hidden. So it's really nice to be able to kind of see where they are and find them.